the next thing you're going to do is you're going to be trimming the sides and the bottom so that it's all going to be even and you don't have any of the frayed edges coming off so none of your fabric is going to be fraying. So I'm going to start with cutting down the sides. Now my sides are still really close to each other. They're still even. On yours, yours might not be even anymore. If it seems like you have to cut a lot off, check in with your teacher. Otherwise, mostly what you're gonna be cutting off on the sides are gonna be just the frayed pieces. Okay, so I'm going to just cut off my threads, just my little frayed edges like this, all the way down the side. Okay, if I had any extra fabric, I'd be cutting that off too. But I don't, I just have these ones across the side here. So I started with cutting off that side. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. Be careful so you don't accidentally cut through the metal pins that will dull your shears. Scoot my back a little bit. You can do that too if you need to. Just be really careful that you're not cutting off more than you need to or else that'll make it so your bag is smaller than you want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to cut off across the bottom. So because mine has a little bit of a difference here, I'm going to be cutting it to make it so it's going to be even all the way across. So I'm going to be really careful and I'm just going to cut right next to my bottom edge here. Okay, you might have the same amount as I do left on the bottom. Yours might be less, yours might be more. We just want to make sure that it's going to match up. Okay, so we're going to cut it off like this. So when you're done with this step, all of your edges, including the bottom, are going to be right next to each other. And the two tops are still going to be next to each other. And you'll have your pins all the way around. Next, you're going to be ready to sew it.